new encounters, new favor. The finances you never handled before, God is bringing it your way. God is bringing your way. He says, I take pleasure in the prosperity of my servant. I knew there will be challenges, there will be trials, but I, the Lord, take pleasure. I take pleasure. I take pleasure. Uh, looking unto him, Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. The author, the one who we started and the one who we finish what he has started. There is a door opening. You find yourself in the company of mighty men. That amen can be resounding. That amen can be resounding. I'm talking about there is a sales you never make. The kind of sales you never make. The kind of companies you never meet. Mighty things coming your way. There is a great and effectual door open up to you. I speak in the name of Jesus. You will not miss this season. You will not miss this season. By the help of God, you will not miss this season. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has it come to the heart of man. What God has in store for you. The best of heaven is coming to you now. There's a stream that makes glad the city of God. There's quantum leap. Quantum leap. Quantum. Quantum leap. Four major streams. Opening from today. Four major streams of income. Four major avenues. Avenue. Major. They are mighty. Not the minor ones. Four major streams of income. Four major stream of income. Four major streams of income finding expression fully to the glory and honor of Jesus if you believe it say Lord I believe it if you believe it say Lord I believe it if you believe it say Lord I believe it now open your mouth and say Father show up in this month of August on my behalf open your mouth and pray Lord, show up. <coughs> Jesus, show up. Lord, show up. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I will open up. My heart ready for your holy fire. I will let you into my heart and into my soul. Imagine my life. Oh, oh, oh. 
our heart is open now. If you won't do it, no one will. Our heart and spirit is open. If you won't do it, no one will. We ask, Lord, for an access to you. Access to your heart. Access to your spirit. We ask, Lord, access to the best of the best, to your hidden treasures. Access to your help and support. The entrance, Lord, of your word gives light and it gives understanding to the simple. We ask you, Lord, to minister to our spirit and to do all that you alone are to do. We proclaim and declare all God's blessed, truly blessed. And we speak, Lord, in that name, Jesus, that August we answer according to what it shall be named. Yes. August will submit fully to us in Jesus' name. Put your hands together for the Lord as you comfortably take your seat. That when you don't see, you can't attain. That when you don't see, you can't attain. <clears throat> Great and effectual doors, God said, are open to you. He said, but there are many adversaries. In other words, don't focus on the many adversaries. Focus on the great doors. Not just great doors, great and effectual. <clears throat> there is no breakthrough without an adversary. Oh, this one's small, they're not going to chase up. Not the big one, then they chase. No. The Bible calls him. The father of thieves. And the Bible says he himself is the thief. He came to steal. <clears throat> he came to kill it. If we can't steal it, let's kill it. And if we can't kill it, man, destroy it. If it's not for me, make it no get. So you need to know that your life is truly enveloped in redemption. And that's why the Bible says, look up to him and live. The author and the finisher of our faith. Third John 3 was speaking, beloved, from verse 2. I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper. In everything I'm thinking about you, I just want to see you prosper. A thousand will fall by your right, looking so horrible, not favorable. And that's just a thousand. And by the time you want to talk, there's a bigger challenge coming. He said, There are 10,000 on the right side. He said, But nothing shall my enemies hurt you. <laughs> oh, economic crisis to the left and to the right. He said, But when there is a casting down, you will say there is a lifting up. People made so much money in Buari's reign. That what you choose in the new reign determines what becomes of you. If you join the complaining camp, in another eight years, you end up becoming chief complaint officer. But you see opportunities in everything. You see virtue in everything. Wise men, great businessmen, smiles at challenges because they crack the code and bring us opportunities out of it. Every time I had the opportunity to sit down, my head is thinking. My brain is actively working. Lord, what else must I do? 
what must I do? I've never sat down as pastors and begin to think, man, how do I need to get money from this one, this one, this one, this one? Jeremiah speaking um, from Jeremiah chapter 7, if you read from verse 5, then what? He said, trust in the Lord with all your heart. He said, woe to him whose trust is a man. Woe. If your trust is in man, he said, woe to you. Woe. Woe to you. But there is a God who sits upon the cycle of the earth and rule in the affairs of man. He said, I know the thoughts that I think towards you are by me. He said, they are the thought of good. Sir, you, you approach him. Lord, everything is tough to the right, my son. Don't look at what is tough to the right or to the left. Look at me. Just look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. I'm walking it all out. Look at me. Look at me. I, I, I'm, I'm called the way. The one who makes way where there seems to be. Just look at me. Sir, we are going now. There is no way. What we have ahead of us is Red Sea. We, if we enter, we will drown. He said, tell my people to move forward. Because in my agenda, there is no backwardness of any kind. So again, I'm speaking to the one who cares to listen now. This is the word of the Lord. There is nothing you have handled in time of wealth, wealth, wealth that you look to and you smile. What is coming to you this month is a thousand times more. Uh, 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 I didn't hear your loud amen. A financial fortune like never before. A financial fortune. There, there, there is a prompting in my heart. A financial fortune like never before. Like never before, God is bringing it your way. Men of wilful inventions, creative idea, creative wisdom. They said, oh, we've tried to sell this property, this one can be sold. Not you, not when you show up. The toughest things now will be made easy for you. Amen. You didn't catch that. It will be made easy for you. Amen. Your life will be so sweet. And everything will speak for you. Yes. Take your seat. My duty this morning is to bring you the prophetic focus for August. <clears throat> a month we, that I have looked forward to as a result of what God has been saying about the month. Praise the Lord. In the 2023 declaration we saw a year where we stay ahead of the imagination of the wicked. The year where we win not by sight or the dictates of the flesh. A face where we assess dominion without each. Dominion without each. So evident, an uncommon season of the manifestations of the sons of God by the Spirit of God. The sons of God manifest by the Spirit of God. There's a generation coming. They will operate at a realm beyond earthly budget. Their focus is not 2023 appropriation B. No. It's not what was released as a budget. They draw from heaven's resources. Heaven's resources. Is it now that it is so tough, so tough to even step out of your house? That you want to trust on the economy of a budget of a nation that, can, that does not even believe in itself. A nation where there is no bearing to government and leadership. Ah! Look to him and live. They will be above of the economic crisis. He told us. There's an economic crisis. God spoke to me about two days ago. He said, son, I will bring you wealth you've not seen this month. And what he said to one, he said to all. I'm speaking to you in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm speaking to you by the help of God. Streams of wealth like never before. God will bring you away. This amen is so lukewarm. It can be very resounding. 
It can be better. It can be better. Take your seat. You know, when he talks about him bringing you wealth, God doesn't just come, boom, bring money to your house, drop it off. He gives you creative wisdom. He gives you creative idea. He just puts it inside of you. He brings mighty men to recognize your what. And they pay for your what. Somebody follow me right now. Wealth does not reside with the fool. Write it down. Wealth does not reside with a fool. The one who eats all things, everything that comes, is a fool. The one who spends all is a fool. He said, be wise like the ant. Now, have an understanding of when to address and when to save. The ant never eats all. When he eats, he sees the big one, he's carrying it. And you're watching him go, he's going to keep it somewhere and store it. Wealth does not reside with the fool. The wealth of God is not more money. It's not, okay, if I have more money, more money, more money, more money. No. It is the ability to be able to manage that which is little. That is, you have entered a phase where you are in control. A year where there is an emergence of mighty warriors who are sold out to God. A year we've never seen such men before. I think this is what we're waiting for now. This is what we're waiting for now. A strange baptism of the knowledge and the wisdom of God. I'm talking about the creative wisdom of God. The creative wisdom. They said in this company and organization that you work for, money is not for come, money is for... You will just stand up with creative wisdom. Creative ideas. Sir. I think we need to do this, do this, do this, and money will start flowing. I'm speaking upon you now. The baptism of God's wisdom. May God give it to you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You know, God does not like to be disgraced. Take note of that. God does not like to be disgraced. The top that you are looking for, the height you are asking God for, are you prepared for it? If you are disgraced, the one who sent you there is disgraced. So what you are not prepared for, oh, I want this position. Oh, I want this height of greatness. If I'm there, I want to handle it. But God is asking you, I don't want to disgrace myself. If you have not upgraded yourself to a level of managing great men, great men, and managing great men starts from your room. You stand before the, 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 the mirror. Oh, I am a protocol to this dignitary. Oh, I am an essay to this authority. Oh, I am, I am his next in command to this. You carry yourself with glory and charisma. And God is saying that you've been going through a training process. And then God will say, it's time. Hey, Jamaica, yes, sir. Break the heaven loose. Break the heaven loose. It's ready for it. It's ready for it. You want to command authority in the government of a nation and you have not read anything on governance. God does not like disgrace. You want to be in control of money and you have not read any book on finance. God does not like disgrace. He doesn't want to lose you. Now you are spiritual. You are so spiritual. But when it comes to 10,000 now, you are not accountable. God will not give you 100,000. Lord, open it. Open it. Open it. First the heavens open. Lord, give me. Give me wealth. Give me wealth. Lord, give me. Give me wealth. And then I ask you. Last week, I gave you 900 naira. It was so tough for you to give me 9 naira. God doesn't need this one. And 
when he just said, first the heavens open. You've never seen one millionaire. God just send you six millionaire. I would like, ah, I will go to church with 600 now. No, they've been telling us online, plenty online. Say, no tight. If God doesn't want it to be inside, he would have taken it out of his Bible. Don't think for God. What is bigger than your age? Don't think for God. You see those appearing in those days? They don't do it now. Those days, they come at the end of the year. And they begin to read. You don't understand? If you go to Baptist Methodist, they'll come and read. Everybody that gave tithes each year. Are you following me? I went home and I went to the family church, the one in the village. I see saw my father's name. I cried. If you want what is God's, you need a heart. His cause. You want his wealth. You need a heart that acknowledge his wealth. There is a wealth transfer coming beyond human struggles. A strange transfer that is at work, fully at work. Hey, Lord, sir, I know you wept. I know there was a phase of your life where you felt like committing suicide. There's a new anointing coming upon you right now. It is the anointing for solution. You didn't hear that? There's somebody under the sound of my voice now. God is giving you the solution of men. No, no, no. You're not. You guys are not. There's somebody under the sound of my voice. The solution men we pay for. God is giving you the solution of men. Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Somebody said, I won't buy something from him. It's like what he's selling is too expensive. So another person came to tell me. I said, everything I sell is expensive. Because I don't sell it. God sells it. So I said, okay, I'll go and visit the one who says what I sell is expensive. So I went to give him an expensive gift. And he collected. Amen. And then I spoke to cool of Because the Bible says, give. I need shine. Except a grain of corn fall to the ground, dies, it will not abide. But if it abides from that same spot, from that same spot, it will bear fruit. So I say, use great things, use good things. It's for great people. A few days after he came, he wants to buy. Now it's time for me to get the value of the gift I gave to him. So I said, the things you came the last night, they're, they're available, but not, not for the same price anymore. You can't come and go like that. Go so far out here. take it. As long as a heart remains, see time and harvest will not cease. I said, okay, 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 we'll buy, we'll buy, we'll buy. I said, but I'm not selling on credit. I don't sell credit. I don't beg people, you know. So pay for everything and you have it. And you pay much more. So I asked him, how does it feel to have good things? Good things have value. So I got the money for the gift I gave back. You know, I got profit, but I got back that money first. Uh, amen. The same way you sing, give me all in my life. Say, give me wisdom in my life. Give me wisdom. Give me wisdom in my life, I pray. Thank you, Jesus. Give me wisdom in my life. Give me wisdom. Give me wisdom in my life, I pray. Give me wealth in my life. Give me wealth. Give me wealth in my life, 
Let's, let me give you a secret to write it down. Every time you say, Oh God of heaven, these people have come again chasing me like a wide wing or this enemy of my house. At that particular time, you mention it. God turns his back at evil. He doesn't listen. So immediately God will exit. And when he exits, an angel will come and take record. That's their own business. And if the angel is one, you, 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 he does not even like your face. You don't know that when there are secretaries who take people's record and go to your guy, he doesn't like your face. He just hide it. Angels are like secretary. I can't remember, maybe 14 years ago was the last time you know, I come to pray like, oh, Lord, set me free. Every spiritual implant, every satanic. I've been free. And when I come, I come specifically. say, you pray at me. He said, talk, I'm in a hurry. I want to attend to different things. And I want to speak to people who know what they want. If you place more value on demonic influence, you keep seeing more. As a man thinks in his heart, so is he. You are a product of your thought. They are coming again. They will come more. There is no need to have two WhatsApp. One for demon. You don't need that, right? One is enough. Let them see your face. This is me. Beholding as we beholding in the mirror. I am Christ. Christ is me. See me. See me. See me. See me. You dare me, you die. You come into that knowledge. The work of my hand, bless, nothing is strong enough to stop it. If the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead dwells inside of you, that same spirit is also able to quicken, revive, revitalize, reposition your mother body. Same spirit. Not the spirit of fear, but same spirit. Not the spirit of frustration. Same spirit. Same, same. Enoch Adeboe took same. David Olani took same. Archbishop Benson in the answer of Blessed Mamani took same. It is your turn. I know you have a lot of budget, plenty things to do, but start thinking like Christ. What do we have here? Ooh, where can we have food to buy? He said, there is nowhere. Ah, we can't let these people go. There is a spirit and a grace that caused the eruption of prosperity out of nothing. And Jesus said, what do we have? Peter said, we have nothing except. In other words, in nothing, there is always an except. I have nothing new except this useless me. God needs that useless you to become useful. When you put you that is useless, useless means less use. Are you following me right now? If you take less out of what use, what do you have? Use. I am useful. All I need to do is add food to it. And I become what? Useful. Not less use. And then the heaven first open. I call my my maid up. But I will stand back. Because I will see my Jesus someday. I've got my mind made up. But I will stand back. Because I will see my Jesus. There are many people when you get to heaven, he will flog you. He will tell you, I forced the heavens open. I gave you creative wisdom you didn't use. I opened many opportunities. 
There are many opportunities, many streams of life that you fall straight. I want to change your story, said the Lord, but I'd like you to start thinking like me. Can two work together? Except they agree. Your heart must be in agreement with the living God. Your heart must be. Take note of that. Write it down. My heart must be in agreement with the living God. Say my heart must be. Say it. In agreement with the living God. Say my heart must be in agreement with the living God. Now say from today. In the name of Jesus, my heart is in agreement with the living God that I am a success. My heart is in agreement with the living God that everything is working for my good. Job 22. Thank you, Lord Jesus. The message translation of Job 22. Someone said to me, this is my day. Someone said to me, this is my day. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And I read from verse 6, 15. Job 22. So I'll bring you the declaration of the month. Job 22, 15. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Are you going to persist in that tired old line that wicked men and women have always used? Everything is tough. Mo could they manage them? Mo could just go. We all understand. I say, be in a say, bros. Are your side? What they concern you about his side? And you are waiting to use his side to decide your side. <laughs> I was born. On the passage of three face me, I face you. They were in a hurry. I went to that house, still visit the house, and I look at the first room, the second room, the third room, the fourth, the fifth. This is three rooms facing each other. I was born on the passage. At the fourth room, there was a discussion going on. That glory that is coming will kill it, will eat it now. They did the meeting. Now, at the second room, they decided we will steal the eye. You need to ask God revelation of yourself. What went wrong? The period and the time of your life when you can't talk, when you were powerless, when you can't defend yourself. What were the decisions of the wicked on your life? And God began to show. The first eight years of my life, I couldn't see. They thought they had eaten it. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, Femi. Oh, Femi, yeah, yeah. Oh, Betty, mo, Timo. Oh, Femi. Jesus, Femi. Oh, Femi, yeah, yeah. Oh, Betty, Moti, oh, Femi. He has a plan for your life. He said, They die young. Flash flood sweeping them off to their doom. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And yet, it was God who gave them. Everything they had. It was God, verse 17, who gave them everything they had. He gave them everything they had. It's beyond me how they can carry on like this. It's God who gave them everything they what they had. Yet they forgot everything. That you went to school and came out, you think because you were brilliant? No. The enemy didn't want you. In fact, you even graduated, they planned to kill you on your graduation day. There were most of you seated here. No enemy planned to kill you. 
you were an ambiku, you decide yourself, you will die on your graduation day. In the coven where you came, you decide because ignorantly your parents went to sort you somewhere. But on the course of the journey, your life encountered Christ. And the blood of Christ shielded you from evil. And you're still standing. He said, they forgot that it was God who gave them everything. Who gave them everything. The Bible was speaking in Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 18. The New Living Translation, it says, Remember, consider the Lord your God. He is one who what gave you power to be successful. In order to fulfill the covenant. The message translation says, remember your God. Your God who gave you the strength to produce this what? This wealth. Strength to produce this wealth. So without his strength, there is no production of wealth. Someone follow me right now. I have seen the Lord's goodness. His mercies and compassion. I have seen the Lord's goodness. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. There is a God who rules in the affairs of men. He is my God. Say it. He is mindful of me. He is working everything in my favor. I abandon what I know and I accept all he says. I am blessed on every side. The wealth of God come to me. I have the creative wisdom of God. The grace of God working things out. I am rich in all things. Somebody shout aloud, Amen. Amen. Verses 19. Job 22, the message translation. Good people see bad people crash and call for a celebration. It says, relieve the crow. At last, our enemies wiped out. It's not time to smile like that. It's not time to cause an instruction. Don't be among those who celebrates the downfall of another, even though the person is wicked. Stay on your lane of lights and don't embrace any entanglement of darkness. Don't. Don't wish others done for. In this month, if everything God is said to do, we find expression. Don't carry bad news about others even when they are telling the news to be real. Don't get involved. Be careful so you don't lose what is coming. And you know that after you see August, you know the year has ended. Because everything else you see is mba, 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 mba. I know a God who is faithful. I'd like you to stay with him and enjoy his best. Job 22 verse 21. <clears throat> Give in to God. Come to terms with him and everything will turn out just fine. Give in. Everything it tells you, just do it this month. Be faithful to tithing. Be faithful to kingdom practices. Don't wait for anyone to encourage you on how to please God. If not, you will need somebody to encourage God to bless you. And God can be encouraged. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Perhaps God cannot be mocked. Whatsoever a man sows, you sow that someone should encourage you to do what you should do for God. Then you need to get the same people to go and encourage God. 
And if they encourage you against him, how can they encourage God in your favor? Thank you, Jesus. Let him tell you what to do. Take his word to heart. That is all God speaking to you now. If I will deliver to you, if I will speak as a subject, take God's word to heart. We saw in the word of God that everything we do, the creature for the year, that everything we touch this year is what good. May I pray for you, you won't miss August. Again, may I pray for you, you won't miss the blessings of August. It's not enough to see the month. It is enough to enjoy the month. You had this testimony. He said, every day of July has been good for me. He said, it was from one favor to another. One favor to another. Hello, sir. You've not seen anything. Are you following me right now? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Come back to God. Almighty. And what? He will rebuild your life. He will rebuild your life. Clean your house of everything evil. Everything evil. Money have wings fly to the heavens. If you are full of evil, it won't come your way. Amen. Clean your house of everything evil, evil, evil. Your own, pro, your own good news is to see others fall down. He said it is evil. Bring it down. Prayer point. You all wake up in the morning. Some of you blessing God. Lord, today all this enemy died. Since you were asking them to die, none of them died. If just imagine how all the enemy die. And God said, for whatsoever a man so he will reap. You, you are also an enemy to somebody. So let God decide which of the enemies should die, not you. And Lord, I just bless you. You are holy, holy Lord, and forever. Fair me, bless you, Lord, you are holy. Clean your house of everything evil. He said, then relax your grip on your money. Someone say, my money is coming. That's fast. That's fast. Twenty-four. Say, my money is coming. Say, my money is coming. Someone say, the money that brings fear on money. Say, my money is coming. Somebody starts saying, the money that brings fear on money. Hello, sir. If they steal from you and you still know you are poor. You are poor. Very, you are very poor. Very, very, very poor. Very poor. If you can't forget $1,000 that you, it was somewhere, you are poor. If, if everything about money is expensive, you are totally miserably poor. Hey! Seven era. If you enter supermarket and you are still looking at the price, you just didn't buy pick this, pick this, pick this, and then go. You just do. how much is this one? Make a first pick first. But I speak now by the help of God. There is a strange supernatural transformation on your life. Hey. Say loud amen. amen. Say loud amen. amen. Say Jesus. Jesus. I receive wisdom for common exploit. Say Jesus. Jesus. I receive grace to know what to do. Take your seat. Thank you, Lord Jesus. God wants you to manage his resources. Because every resource coming is just 
a re and then source. Which means there is a grace sourcing it out. Are you following me right now? And so what grace sourced out again and again, we now call what re source. <laughs> so if grace is doing it again and again, it becomes resource, then we have access to what resources. Because it's just what source. The source that keeps showing up. So say this month we answer for me. Say, and I receive wisdom to know what to do. Just imagine when the wisdom of God came upon Olafemi on strange dimension. Stop this work now. This is what you need to start doing. And they start doing that. And they start doing. Initially, if God gives it to you and it doesn't come with struggle, it's not God. It doesn't just come. You will fail and then you try again. You will fail and try again. You will get this courage and try again. And try again. And try again. In fact, you lose money and then you smile. And try again. And try again. And again. And again. Ah, God, look at the God says, son, don't worry, don't worry. You are learning how not to fail when you get to the top. And then eventually you face it. And then before you know what is happening, your two legs are not balanced. In the business. You understand the game. You now know how to succeed. Because there is a God that teaches how to make profit. If, if you call profit by fire, by thunder, it won't come. Except the God that teaches how to make. And beside that, it is not everywhere there is profit. He said, for he will lead you in the way that thou shouldest go so that you can see the profit. Are you following me right now? I've been doing this day. I'm an expert. Are you following me right now? Somebody else can come does not even know how to make up. Make up for you hungry. Make up for And God just put input of, of, of his favor on the, lead, on the stupid thing she's doing. And someone can come and do it for me. Just do say, I mean, I like it. And when that person comes out, because God has put that he must appreciate the person's work. Everybody says, ah, this thing is good. This, who did it? Before those days of our parents, if you make up as women make up now, what happened? They would think a masquerade has come. Are you following me? But somebody initiated it and God put a blessing on it. Everybody just accepted it. You don't understand. He's what people are. Before you, because there's a collective agreement. All of us say, fine, 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 fine. But those days, you know, fine. Until there is an involvement or acceptance of heaven, nothing speaks. What we rejected before was because heaven has not accepted. But somebody brought it before heaven. This will speak. This will speak. We will start making money from cosmetics. That this, those days was a dear one. It sells like nothing, like white fire. And you note it did tomorrow. The ori of our parents. Is still on Amazon. Yes, yes. Share butter. Everywhere. It's it, no, it's still there. It's there. You put it on, making so much money, and you are still shining. Somebody's input. Somebody's discovery. Kula Mahata. All you need is God's input. It's involvement. You say, relax. What? Your grip on money. Tap your nose. Say, relax your grip on money. It says, and abandon gold plated luxury. It says, God Almighty will be what? We be your treasure. Somebody said, oh, I want that. It says, God Almighty will be what? We be your treasure. More wealth than what? Than you can. Imagine more wealth than what than you can imagine. More wealth than what than you can imagine. Stand on your feet. You say, Let God be your treasure, and then there is more wealth than you can imagine. Let me help you. Let me explain that scripture to you. Let God be your treasure. 
that is before every business transaction see God in it they brought you to a property to sell as you walk in Lord are we selling this before you start using your head sense are you with me right now before you start using your head there was something I was trying to say Lord this thing is not going to say son don't sell now I said, I need this money. He said, so don't say, he said, so, so, we're not selling now. Then at that time, if, when he says, we're not, I know that he has taken it. I said, okay, Lord, Lord, we're not selling it now. Okay. Even the money you need, I might not the one who bring it. Time and chance happen to them all. You see, the sons of Issachar, they have an understanding of time and season. I will break through. I'm not running against my time. I will succeed. I'm going to preserve my health to eat wealth. I'm not going to entertain depression, frustration. There's a wealth coming and I need good health to enjoy. Somebody say it. There's a wealth coming. I need good health to enjoy it. So it says, let God be your treasure. Lord, it's an appointment to go to Wuse to today. Father, let's go. You know what? He said, get, bring the code down a bit. He said, get so much to a level that, you know, what is a treasure to you? You guide, you carry everywhere. Are you following me right now? He said, carry him everywhere. <laughs> you want more wealth? He said, carry him what? Everywhere. Because it is he that gives power to make wealth. Carry him everywhere. Don't treasure your brain. Your scheming antics. Don't. Don't treasure it. When I stand before the board, when I start speaking, I could not say I hear English. They called you to defend your proposal. And one Abdullah came from Castina. Bismillah. Uh, uh, he doesn't know what to say. And then he just quickly switched to his language. And somebody in the place is standing up, he's interpreting to the other people. This is what he's saying. You know. This is what he's saying. You know. Okay, he can do it. This is what he's saying. You know. This is what he's saying. You know. This is what he's saying. You know. Something followed him. He had, you don't know that his confidence that you come before mighty people. And the next thing he starts talking about some problems that is your language. He, what a confidence that you even came. For you, you don't polish, don't speak English. You borrow grammar, you check dictionary. If you are selling cola nuts, carry God as the treasure. Are you following me right now? If we're going to be looking at the people who come to church, you think we would have been able to own a parcel of land now? Huh? There's a treasure beyond your coming. It's God. The Bible says, the more you have him as a treasure, he says, it is more what? Wealth. You say this, financial open heaven does not answer to prayer. It answers to covenant practices. It answers to what? Covenant practices. God can give you wisdom. He said, ask of him who give liberally. When it comes to wisdom, he gives liberally. If you look through all the Bible, nobody pray for money. Everyone work for money. He that will not work, let him not eat. And the Bible was speaking in Psalms chapter 1, you know, from verse 3. It says, the bears forth his fruit in his season, and whatsoever he dwells, so, not doing, no prosperity. Not do, Lord, today money coming. Money coming. Forget money first. The treasure of all things. Put me in charge. Put me in control. Help me see opportunities. Help me see ideas. That will turn into money. Creative wisdom. Help me solve problems. Help me solve problems. Can, can you just imagine somebody walk into the gate now? And he's praying. He said, Pastor, I've prayed. Give me money. 
You understand? But if you look at her, is there a carpentry work I can do here? I say, come, there's some wood we need to remove up there. Please just pull them down. What happens? There'll be a what? An exchange. Someone say, it's time. For me to lay up good as dust. As I bring you declaration for August, I read from verse 24 to 28. 24 to 28. Media app out. The message translation of Job 22. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Clean your house of everything evil. Relax your grip on your money and abandon your gold-plated luxury. Verse 25. God Almighty will be your treasure. More wealth than you can imagine. Something will not take place. You will take the light in God, the mighty one, and look to him joyfully, boldly. And what? You will pray to him. He will what? He will listen. <laughs> he will help you do what? What? You have what? Promise. 28. You will decide what you want. And what happened? It will what? <laughs> it will happen. You know, people, people just decide. I want Rolls Royce now. Say it will happen. It will happen. You say it will happen. I was telling God a few days, I wish this land was bigger than this. Oh Lord, my dad has here, Lord. I was telling Lord, I just wish the land is much more than this. I will cause trouble on your neck. I will, I will make strange wonders. I tell you, wait and see. You see, IWC, you will ask yourself, why did they have to spend so much money? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Jesus. You will pray to him, he will listen. He will help you do what you've promised. You will decide what you want. It will happen. Your life will what? Will be built in what? In light. Your life will be what? Will be bettered in light. Verse 25. He said, God Almighty will be your treasure. Verse 25. God Almighty will be your treasure. More wealth than you can imagine. August 2023 20, is pronounced as my month of more wealth. My month of more wealth. More, more wealth. More wealth. It is my month of more wealth. Somebody say it. It is my month of more wealth. It is my month of more wealth. It is my month of more wealth. A year where everything I touch is gold. It is my month of more wealth. A year where everything I touch is gold. My Lord Soprahata. More wealth. 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 In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. If I say more wealth, you say everything I touch is gold. More wealth. 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 More wealth. More wealth. More wealth. Now listen, all else focus here, all eyes focus in all of the overflow. He say, let God be your treasure and you will have more wealth than you can imagine. Let God be your treasure. You don't know Jesus yet. He loves you and he's giving you an opportunity to come to him. To accept him as your Lord and person. As everything we've been doing here is a joke to you until you know Christ. Until there is a sincere, genuine connection with Christ. 
wherever you are, you want to accept him as your Lord and personal Savior, put your right hand on your chest and say after me, Lord Jesus, have mercy upon me. I'm a sinner. I come to you. Forgive me of my sins. I'm accepting you, Lord, today. Write my name in the book of life. I want you to pray that prayer sincerely. Write my name in the book of life. Forgive me of all my doing. Today I give my life to you. And I confess I'm born again. And that my name is written in the book of life. I am saved and completely saved in Jesus' name. If you prayed that prayer, raise your hand up. I want to pray with you. Lord, I speak to everyone here. Everyone here. Everyone in the overflow that is giving their life to you now. And I pray by the power of the Holy Ghost that their life is saved. Their life is saved. Their life is saved. Your grace and your glory will be at work in them in the name of Jesus. I'd like you to know I'm going to be praying with you. Can you quickly come? Come and have a prophetic handshake. You gave your life to Christ. Please come have a prophetic handshake. And the best of heaven will start working. Come, come. Please celebrate them. Celebrate them. Your life is saved in the name of Jesus. Your life is saved in the name of Jesus. Your life is saved in the name of Jesus. Go back to your seat. Hallelujah. Come and come and celebrate Jesus. Come and come and come and come and come and celebrate Jesus. Your life is saved in the name of Jesus. Go back to your seat. Come on, give it, give it, give it. Come on, keep clapping, keep clapping. Oh, I'm to be.